Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss a new series of physics that is statistical mechanics. We have already discussed about classical mechanics, now statistical mechanics. So in today's statistical mechanics, we are going to discuss about postulates of classical statistical mechanics. So let's start our current lecture of statistical mechanics. Now, postulates of classical statistical mechanics. It is based on the following postulates. Postulates of equal a priori probability. Now, what is the postulate of equal a priori probability? It says that the probability will be equal at every point of the system. According to this postulate, the probability of finding the phase point for given system in any region of gamma space is identical with that for any other region of equal extension or volume. So if we have two portions in a system and the volume of both portions are same then the probability of finding the phase point for given system in any region of the gamma space will be identical or the probability of finding the phase point in both the portion of the system will be same and this definition can also be written in the following form for a system in equilibrium all accessible microstate corresponding to a given macrostate are equally probable thus in thermodynamic equilibrium the system under consideration is a member of an ensemble with a density function and this ensemble is actually microcanonical ensemble because there are three types of ensemble microcanonical ensemble canonical ensemble and also grand canonical ensemble and we will discuss separately about all three types of ensemble so in thermodynamic equilibrium the system under consideration is a member of an ensemble with a density function density function rho is constant if Hamiltonian lying between energy E and E plus delta E and outside it rho will be 0. Thus all members of the ensemble have the same number of particles n and same volume V. Now we consider a function f and this f represents any measurable property of the system. And this f is actually the function of momentum and coordinate. If the postulate of equal a priori probability is useful, then the average value of f from different methods have the same result. So either we find the value of f from this method or from this method, the value will be same or equal or result will be same. Now, first method is most probable value of f. And what is most probable value? Most probable value of f is actually the value possessed by the largest number of system in the ensemble. So, the value possessed by the largest number of system in the ensemble is actually the most probable value of that particular measurable quantity. Now, second one is ensemble average of f. Ensemble average value of f is equal to integration d3 and p, d3 and q, f rho divided by integration d3 and p, d3 and q rho. And rho and f both are the function of p and q. Both the values of f that is most probable value and the ensemble average are nearly equal if the mean square fluctuation is is small. So if the mean square fluctuation is small then the most probable value and the ensemble average give the same result. Mean square fluctuation is actually ensemble average of f square minus square of ensemble average of f divided by a square of ensemble average of f. So mean square fluctuation is very small. It means it is very much less than 1. 
So if this condition satisfies, then most probable value and ensemble average give the same result. In all physical cases, mean square fluctuation is equal to 1 upon n in order. And since n is very large, so this value will be very small. Since n tends to infinity, so mean square fluctuation is very much less than 1. And if this condition correct, then there will be no difference in the result which we obtained from ensemble average and the most probable value. And thus most probable value of f and ensemble average of f both have identical value because mean square fluctuation is very much less than 1. Here we end our session. In today's session of statistical mechanics, we have discussed about postulates of classical statistical mechanics. Goodbye.